What is happening, Magnusites? So, I just got in from the Mr. Olympia Expo. Zoomed in a little bit too much there. There we go. It's a little bit better. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so just got in from the Mr. Olympia Expo. And um, I got to say it was absolutely off the chain. Like, you are absolutely bombarded with so much muscle stuff from contests like powerlifting, arm wrestling, modeling competitions, like to be the next one of the next models. Um, you, there's uh, all types of clothing on sale. There are, um, there are tons of supplements on sale. There's even personal training sessions on sale. There's equipment on sale. I just saw this new thing called the core something. So it's another new fad machine on sale. It looks pretty cool. It might work for some stuff. Um, and you know, I got there, you know, I figured everybody would just kind of be in their regular clothes, you know, walking around. No, <coughs> excuse me. Like there were so many people, you know, what? it's almost like comic con for muscle heads there, you know, for the fitness industry. There's so many people there in tank tops, tights, boy shorts. I mean, girls were just half naked, Teddy's ass, everything hanging the fuck out. There were dudes walking around with no shirt on. I mean, it was just ridiculous in there. I'll be back next year. <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't, it, it, it would be much more fun if I came with somebody, me and my buddy actually, uh, just got off the phone texting and it's like, look, I told him about it. He's never been, he's a big muscle head gym rat. So he's like, yeah, let's go next year. So we'll probably be in here next year. Platinum tickets, front row, Mr. Olympia, everything, all the shows, expo, everything we will be here. So uh, and I will cover it again. Uh, it was just massive amounts of people there. Ran into this dude and I know named Jordan Supino. He owns a uh, gym and a uh, supplement company. Actually, he used to go out with a girl that I know. And uh, he's doing his thing out here in LA area. And uh, ran into him on my way out. It's him and his wife and friends and stuff and uh, it was cool I also ran into a few magnesites I did I ran into a few magnesites like two 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 or three at the show and then when I left uh, I wanted to um, tan because uh, of the shoot that I'm doing tomorrow I to make sure that, like I had this damn farmers tan so I wanted to uh, make sure that everything is uh, you know just all the way through you know I just you know, hopefully it works by tomorrow. We'll see. But anyway, um, uh, I ran in. I went to Target to get me some shorts. See, this this is this is my short set. This is my short set. So I was out the, out, out at the uh, pool like, hello, ladies. My name is Darren Magnus. Would you like to sit next to me and have a drink? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> um. Yeah, so I had to go get me some shorts because at this Palms Resort, they won't let you out with regular clothes. You have to be wearing no shirt or a tank top and flip flops or barefoot and you got to have shorts on and not basketball shorts. And they let dudes go with that shit though. They did because I got some basketball shorts and uh, you know, they, uh, for some reason, I don't know, he told me no basketball shorts, but when I was down there, I saw tons of guys with basketball shorts and shit on, so. But anyway, I went up in Target to get me some shorts and get some uh, sandals. Well, these sandals are a bunch of bullshit. Uh, I don't wear sandals anyway, so, but anyway. And um, I ran into two brothers, there's two brothers, and they were like, Tyro Magnus, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, he was like, yo, my brother loves you. He's always showing me your videos and this and that. So I talked with them, took a picture, and then I went. Uh, I was, uh, I got my shorts, and on the way out, 
another dude stopped me. I saw him on my way in, and it, I saw him in the corner of my eye. It kind of looked like a, you know, he was like, yo, man, oh my God. You know, he was just like, yo, you know, um, you know, I'm gonna start a new channel. You inspired me and all this. He asked me a few questions. You know, we took a picture and all that. It's, it's always cool, man. Whenever y'all see me out, if y'all wanna say what's up, come up to me and say what's up. I'm not that type of dude. If you wanna take a picture, I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm real cool with that, you know what I mean? It's funny, I was listening to one guy talk about, um, you know, um, fans approaching him, and he was basically saying that he didn't like to be approached in certain situations, but he said sometimes he's just so bored, he's just begging for someone to come up to him and talk. And that's kind of sometimes how it is. Sometimes I'll be somewhere by myself, just a little bored, and someone will see me like, hey, I'm like, oh, you know, snaps me out of my boredom, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the uh, Mr. Olympia Expo. Next time I will. I'll be there with a friend, so I'll be able to really soak everything in, if you know what I mean, and uh, see exactly what's what, and you know maybe uh, I'll talk with a few booths. I just didn't. I just was taking it in this time. You know what I mean? It was just. It was very. It was a lot. It was a lot of stimulus for uh, for the senses. Trust me. Y'all go. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So right now. I'm going to upload, try to upload a couple of videos for y'all, and then I got to head to the pre-judging show, which starts at 7. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.